Welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. In today's video, we'll be looking at low-budget handmade DIY items, either source free from nature or acquired at a very low cost. During the holidays, handmade and personal gifts can spread magic and love. It can add that special touch that can spread a smile on someone's face. In each of these gifts and today's videos, you can use all I'd be sad to know my gift was in a box in the basement waiting to come out till next Yule, so I created ideas that will work for the witch in your life through all the seasons. This time of the year can be so stressful. The media, the stores, consumers, and how much they push spending at Christmas. They forget about the traditions of Yule, getting together with family and feasting together, games and stories, or sharing that handmade personal gift, crafting, painting, designing that gift for the loved one that warms my heart to no end. I pour my love and energy into the gift, whether it took me all year round or just an afternoon to make and be well received, I'm sure. Join me today with 22 Witch Ideas. Stay tuned to the end to find out my number one choice and the favorite idea that is for the witch in your life. Now, one of my favorite gifts is if you dry all your ingredients. Here I'm using fresh oranges, but dry your oranges, hydrate them, dehydrate them, or bake them in the oven. And then you can use a mason jar and put all the dry ingredients inside. One thing I'm missing is one of my favorite ingredients is that is cranberries. They're not in season when I made this video quite yet, but they will be very soon. These lovely simmer pot gift ideas and mason jars will be such a warm thought. They'll think of you while their house smells so divine. Oh, you can almost smell it through the camera. <laughs> now to back up with your simmer pot, you can add a sigil spoon wooden spoon gift idea too. I designed this sigil and it says bless my cookie. It's something so easy. You can dress up the wooden spoon with a gift card and a big fancy bow and you can also attach it to your mason jar. And that was something that again they could use not only just through Yule but throughout all year round as well. Every witch loves candles. So what is really cool to put all the meanings of the candles with the tag, even if they know it's just fun, it's a little personal, it shows that you took a little extra time. You could also include a little downloaded sheet from the internet of what the different candles mean. Now back up with that is your anointing oils. You can personally, it can only take you a month. You can make oils for each of the moon phases. You can also make this little wooden box. I have a video on how to make that right here. And that is just Mod Podge and transferring the design over. Now we have Witch's Runes, of course. I like this one because I use actually the circle to make the eye, you gotta go with it. But witches runes are so easy to make. You can get these at all online or at the dollar store. You could also include a witches runes meaning sheet. I found this one online. I, I just trimmed it out and printed it out. I'm going to grab some string here and I'm going to roll it up like a scroll and I'm going to attach that and I actually have all the witches runes in a mason jar or you can use a nice pouch that you sewed up or found. Witches runes are a great little divination tool for that lovely witch in your life. I'm sure if they don't have a set, they'd be dying to have one that was a handmade one by you. Now, these 
these little decorations are not only for your Yule tree, but they can be used for your altar or hanging in your window. So I made ones, the blue one is Blessing, the Goddess, Protection, the Star, and I used some of my three favorite trees in the old um, And my gosh, wands for that mushroom witch in your life. Oh yes. For that bee shaman in your life. Water witch in your life. Maybe a blue wand is a need. A nice quartz crystal at the end to amplify it. Or maybe for that fairy or princess witch in your life. Or maybe a little bit of potter. Potter witch in your life. Oh, and we cannot forget about the wee witchlings in our life. Maybe our wee children would love some little wands all amplified with little crystals at the end as well. Ooh, and my favorite to do for my friends. I have three smudge blends that I've created and I love sharing these ones. This is a four sacred directions blend. A North American blend. What's all in this one is cedar, white sage, sweet grass, and sacred tobacco. And this one is Kara's personal blend. White sage, lavender, cedar, and buffalo sage. That's Alberta sage from Canada. This is a three peas blend protection purification and profit white sage lavender and peppermint and don't forget to add a little bit of coal for your friend to be able to burn your lovely blends on crystals oh my gosh every witch needs crystals i don't know why but we do it amplifies it's amazing i'm addicted that's okay I've even created this little crystal kit for new beginners here, a little starter kit. You can find this on my Etsy store. I put a little note in there and it tells what all the little different stones means and what they're good for. You can also design a personal mojo bag for your witch in your life. This is so well received. I love giving, getting, giving, sorry, mojo bags. This one here was given to me and it was so special. It was for success in my business, and I thought that was very, very sweet of them. Now, every witch needs a moon calendar. You can find these online for free. You can find many on Etsy that are elaborate and gorgeous, which I have a couple in my cart. And a little moon water reminder if you want to put that on the tag spelled that wrong don't judge I'm a dyslexic witch so let's not judge ah. okay so seeds for your green witch in your life I made these little envelopes you can find the paper origami paper you could use scrapbooking paper uh, I found these dollar store papers and they're gorgeous I found the, the pattern for the little envelopes online and I picked up the seeds during seed season uh, at my local hardware store. You could also, which I do as well, I keep many of my own seeds. So I share my seeds with my friend. My, my friends and I do a lot of seed swapping. So it's a really cool time of the year to do that. Now I keep the bigger tags uh, for when I give my own seeds. I put when to uh, sow it, when to do all the goodies, when to seed it, when it's going to sprout, when it, to expect it to come in, what time of the year to uh, plant it, all that kind of good stuff. Now this notebook, surprise, was actually painted by me. Look, there's my name, Kara Ashlyn. If you would like to get this notebook for the witch in your life, I, in the link down below is an Amazon link to this book, super inexpensive. 
just a notebook that you could use for a little on-the-go book of shadows or a journaling book or especially a dream book. It's always nice to have a little bit. I picked up this super cool multicolored pen at the local little craft store, dollar store. Added that to it and it's a nice, very, very, very sweet gift. And there you have it. A nice little notebook for that witch in your life. Yay! Now another one is full Thark runes. I made these from river stones and an oil paint pen marker. That was it. Took me a few minutes. Done. Except for sourcing the rocks. Took me forever to find all the ones around the same size. Pendulums. Make pendulums. Buy pendulums. But if you make your own pendulums, I made these four ones here. You can find them all in my Etsy store as well. And each one of these I made for a very specific task in mind and you can personalize your pendulums to your person that you made especially like this, with the dragonfly and a little geode here oracle cards and tarot cards for that witch in your life another divination tool that is well received the beaver moon november rising from the darkness in search of our shadow and to find strength in it that is so cool we're in november right now and what do we have a message for the new year is forgiveness and gratitude for this season that is perfect the oracle and tarot cards being probably the most expensive gift out of all these gift ideas now let's move forward to the best some now a mini altar broom the mini altar broom would be so welcome by all your friends if they don't have one I think it's a great tool for the altar and it's a very beautiful personalized gift. Mini spell jars, a little sigil with some charms, with some ribbon. I also have some wax stamp seal. I like to drip on it to make it a little look extra cool and witchy. There's no reason for it. I just love wax. I love playing with wax. That's okay. So moving on to the next one here, you can always dress up this one, I made it a little bit more ornamental, uh, but you can always dress up sage sticks with rose petals, with lavender, with rosemary, with eucalyptus. I'm using cedar here as well as you can, you can burn cinnamon sticks too. This looks huge, but it is just ornamental witch balls you can make them all year round this is one for protection for my home and blessings for my home have anything from rose quartz to bay leaves to moss in here uh, you name it amethyst it's in there lemon oranges <laughs> this one was made last year with cedar bay and flowers i have some peppercorn as well in there and lavender now this is one of my prized favorite pieces I got this at a witch's market a simple feather a jawbone some bones some skin shed from a lizard why not it looks so cool she sold out I lucky that I got one I'm so stoked with that one I'm gonna be making more of those now for the finale for my favorite one what is it? What can it be? <gasps> oh, make pie oracle. A little bone thrown, a little bit of charms, a little bit of fun. Everything has a little meaning. You could give the bones as is. They can create their own meanings on a sheet. Or you can also include a sheet to that. But I would prefer for you to let them write their own meanings as would they, how would they interpret it and resonate with it. Well, thank you so very much again for joining me today. As always, it's a pleasure hanging out with you. Throw me down in the comments below which one was your favorite gift for your witch in your life or which one that you're going to make. Love and light to you and have a magical holiday.